Welcome Aquarius guys. I'm back with another video for y'all. So this is going to be for the remainder of February. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. Um, as well, guys, I'm going to let you guys know what's going on for the month of February here on this channel, guys. I'm doing a giveaway for five lucky people, all right? Um, all you have to do is make a purchase from the website or book a personal reading with me and you will be entered, okay? I'm going to be choosing five people. I will be reaching out to you guys via email at the end of this month. Okay, so at the end of this month, I'm going to be choosing five lucky people. You get to either book a personal reading with me. You're going to get that reading for free or you can get a product, any product from my website, guys, for free. One product. Okay, so to be entered, all you have to do is shop with me or book with me. All right. So let's talk, guys. Let's see what messages we have for the Aquarius. All of that information is going to be in the drop box below, guys. All right? So, let's see what messages we got for Aquarius. Temperance wanted to jump out. So, some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or some of you are trying to heal or you're healing, trying to find balance. Or you're looking for some type of peace. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, I, the Ace of Wands wanted to show itself as well, too. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Aquarius. I tried to do you guys this reading the other day, and it just was not happening. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until another time to do Aquarius this reading. All right, so here we go, y'all. Bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Pentacles. All right, the Page of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Cups, lots of cups here. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio here. I got Libra, Taurus's energy as well. But I'm getting like, there's a little bit of conflict could be going on here. Things could be a little out of control, a little chaotic with this Knight of Swords and Five of Wands. Okay, with the Empress here, that could be um, competition, Jealousy could be a little bit of envy going on here. Now, with this Eight of Cups, somebody is walking away or needs to walk away. We got the Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. Someone could possibly not be responding. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, you could be working on something, working towards something. Let's see. We got the Knight of Cups, first energy out. The Nine of Pentacles. All right, so Eight of Wands. The Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Page of Cups, Judgment, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so it looks like some of y'all are feeling, um, some of y'all are not responding to somebody or someone's not responding to you. Like, I feel like someone's reaching out to you, but I'm just getting like, you're not responding. I do see somebody reaching out to you, though. <laughs> I see, like, no response, though. Okay, why is the Knight of Cups here? There's an invitation, possibly. Somebody is inviting you to something or is trying to communicate with you or has an offer. Maybe you're saying no to this offer. Why is the Knight of Cups here? the four of swords okay so you could be thinking about thinking about maybe you're wanting to reach out to someone but you aren't sure okay could be a gemini the emperor all right this is aries is energy but this is also a uh, masculine energy okay so this could be someone that you're reaching out to could be a baby father a husband um, someone here is definitely could be some, it's like a, a masculine energy here could be a Leo. Okay. But I'm getting like, there's some, something about communicating here. Three of swords. Okay. Oh, somebody got their heart broke. We got the three of swords and 
and the seven of wands queen of pentacles page of swords okay you could be in communication with the queen of pentacles or there's talks about some money going on here but let's see what's going on i want to see why it's the eight of wands here ten of pentacles yeah this could be family you're dealing with this could be a long-term relationship or this is talks about money maybe someone's asking for money Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Oh, the star. This you guys' is energy and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's that more communication. It's like you're trying to get clarity about a situation. Somebody here could be asking for money or you could be asking for um, asking for a favor or something from somebody. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Oh, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so some there's it's something that you're either not happy about you you don't appreciate something or there's an ending to a relationship why is the ten of swords here queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn there's an ending here you've been spying on this person and you've been trying to keep your emotions and your feelings to yourself why is the queen of pentacles here why is the queen of pentacles here Temperance, okay. I feel like some of you may have been trying to balance out money. This could be something that is um, something that you're thinking about. I'm getting that there's someone asking for money. Now we got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but I'm getting like someone's asking for money or asking for a favor, or asking for, there's something here about money, okay, I feel like there's a relationship here, that you're possibly juggling, or someone's going back and forth, okay, like there's just this back and forth energy, Ooh, oh, you feel like somebody's making a bad decision, okay, now we got the five of cups and the magician, yeah, so, you feel like someone's making a bad decision or you feel like you made a bad decision. Um, there's something here about a connection. Two of Cups and the Hierophant. This is definitely like a relationship. But the Two of Pentacles and the Magician and the Five of Cups is saying that somebody's make, making a mistake. Okay? Somebody's making a mistake. King of Cups and the Four of Wands. This could be somebody romancing someone for stability. I'm seeing that as well. Um... Yeah, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? Or someone's going after someone's money, okay? Now, I just feel like it's something that you don't feel comfortable. I'm getting like you don't feel comfortable about something. Someone could be asking you to do something for them or asking you for a favor. Why is the Ace of Swords here? And I'm just getting flat out like your answer is no. <laughs> Page of Cups, yeah. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay. Someone here wants... I'm getting Gemini's energy. Somebody here wants to work on a connection. Somebody here wants to work on a connection. Someone here is wanting to work on a connection. But it's like you're waiting for something to be over with. Why is the Lovers here? The Eight of Swords. You feel like someone is like... Uh, Ooh. Okay. I feel like this is your opinion about a situation. Now we got the three of pentacles and the lover. So somebody wants to work on a connection. But I feel like you're afraid of being left out in the cold or you're afraid that of being left with nothing or getting the sh the shit in of the stick. I'm gonna just say it like that. I do feel like y'all feel like somebody's sticking around for stability. I just, I just get that feeling. Now, the Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Strength card, Leo's Energy, and the Four of Cups. See, I'm getting like you're disappointed. You're disappointed. You are disappointed. I, I feel like you're, you're disappointed about something here. You're disappointed. 
I feel like y'all feel like somebody's getting played or you just, this is a thought that you're having. Like, you feel like somebody is getting the shit in of the stick. Somebody's getting the bad end of the stick. You just aren't having it. Like, you just, it's like, nah, I don't, mm -mm, no. Yeah. Ooh, seven of wands. Like, I feel like you don't want to be disrespectful, but this is something that you want to tell somebody. I feel like this is something that you want to tell somebody. You may feel like something is just sex-based with the devil and the queen of wands. You feel like something is just sex-based. Now, how this other person feels, I'm getting like there's communication. You and this person are in communication. This could be a friend, okay, an associate, someone that you're around because we got the three of cups here and the page of wands. Um, but see how they're viewing it. They're viewing it as something that's a new start, a new beginning. We got the sun and the fool as well as the ace of wands. So they're feeling like this is a new start for them. But I feel like, yeah, they want you to wait and see. They want they want you to wait and see. Um, Page of Swords. They want you to wait and see how it's going to turn out. But you're looking at the situation like, uh-uh, it's going to be a mistake. You're making a mistake. Now, we got the Judgment card here in your hopes and fears. We got Judgment here. Okay, Nine of Wands. Like, you want this person to be careful. Just pay attention. Be more aware. Okay? Somebody here wants a second chance, but you, like, be pay attention. So, I feel like this is... Yeah, it's like, see, look, you like, wait, wait to see. You wait it out to see. Because you got plenty of other options. You got plenty of other moves or plenty of other things uh, that you could be doing. Okay, wait before you before you just jump out there and take this risk and this leap of faith. So you feel like somebody's being risky. Okay, now the outcome is the nine of cups. Um, yeah, you're going you, you gonna to see. You're going to wait it out to see. Okay, because we got the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment and a two of wands. Okay, so you want to get your wish fulfillment or you hope somebody gets their wish fulfillment. But you just can't do nothing but wait it out. See, we got you holding back here. You're going to hold back. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, you're going to keep your distance. You're going to keep your distance and let this person see. You're going you're gonna to keep your distance. I don't feel like this is y'all going through this. I feel like this is someone around you. Because we got the three of cups here. This is someone that you around. Like, associate or affiliate yourself with. Someone could have asked you for their opinion. Um, and this is how you felt. Okay? You spoke your truth. King of Swords. But I feel like you're just going to keep this, keep your distance. You want what's best for this person. But it's like you can't force them to do the right thing. Or to make the, the right decision. Or you feel like it's, you know, I feel like you're looking out for someone's best interest. But they're going to do what they want to do. Okay? They're going to do what they going to move how they want to move. They want you to trust them and just just see. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. But you're like, mm, mm, I'm going to see. <laughs> I'm going to see where this goes. We're going to see. All right. So if this video resonated with you guys, make sure you hit the like button. Don't hesitate to subscribe. Y'all go ahead and hit me up um, uh, through if you're interested in booking a personal reading. As well as if you're interested in getting something from the website so you could be entered to win, guys. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of the love, comments, shares. All you guys have been donating to this channel. Thank you so much. Nothing goes unnoticed. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, ciao for now.